are going to be looking at the golden child from North Stradbrook Island. Prepare yourself because Clayton is about to get excited. It is none other than Ethan Ewing. This is someone I know every single time you watch a video of his, you get really excited. And so I go, wah, wah. So this is going to be good. Let's yeah, bring you up know the. what happened? Like, okay, so Tom Curran hit the surfing scene and he was killing everything, winning everything, and he had the best style. And it's almost like Kelly Slater studied Tom Curran. And it, it's kind of like Andy Irons hit the scene and he was winning everything. And then Ethan Ewing studied Andy Irons and just made it look even better. So I absolutely love this guy. Let's bring the iPad up. Here we go, prepare yourself. All right, so let's have a little look here. First of all, oh, just his compression and extension, it is insane. So look, he's standing nicely, and then watch this. The knees, they kiss. That there, being front on and that mm. lunge is huge. He, he's not side on, he is front on. You very rarely see this many front on surfers. I love it. Um, there's the rail turn. Hold, 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 and this is the money. Pass the coffee, pass the coffee, pass the coffee, pass the coffee. So basically, his turns are so mm. on point, and the handwork. So do you know what I mean by handwork, Ant? Uh, well, yeah, the, the way that he's using is the, 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 the small nuances of twisting the wrists. Yeah, if you drove a car around. and you just had your hand out the window, if you did this, your, your whole hand would turn mm. that way. So. Like, the handwork is amazing. He's got everything stacked. Let's zoom into here. Ankle, ankle, where is it? Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder. Look at the alignment on the turns. Um, it's all perfectly aligned. I absolutely love this guy's technique. Mm. Um, it's phenomenal. And what he does is he uses the power zones. So he takes off and he goes straight back down to the source of energy. And look how he's leaning on that bottom turn. Yeah. A lot of people go into their bottom turns fairly flat and they try to crank on the back foot. Ethan's front on, he's compressing, and when the wave sucks up, he releases his bottom turns. So it's almost like he's got this intrinsic way of understanding waves. Let's just do this in slow-mo. Compress, look at this. Elbow through, bang, nose to the beach. Lean over. That there it was incredible. Look at this. So from, from releasing the fins, having no rail engaged, look at how he shifts his body weight to re-engage the rail. Yeah. Watch this. That is cool. just phenomenal. That looks like a, a Mick Fanning, a Tom Curran. It's timeless, amazing. That, 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 that hand as well, like leaning down, because this is something which I've seen you with a lot with, with coaching people. It's like put your hand, on the wave as you're doing that bottom turn. And that's just a classic example so of what I've heard you say to people. It's kind of like the subtle art of surfing. It's mm. the, 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 the subtle nuances between having your hand turned that way or banking it that way or pushing it forward. He's so dialed in. There's no tension in that turn. Oh. So if you think of a golf swing, if you take the tension out of the swing, you get way more power. Yeah. So look at, Look at the spray and the power. That's like a golf swing. He's just gone bang with the hand. And then the compression, it is absolutely phenomenal. Look at this thing. This is nuts. Bought out of the water, standing on the front of the nose. Did you see that? <laughs> Did you? Oh! Without a doubt, one of. Okay, let's just take a moment of silence just to <laughs> appreciate freaking phenomenal. Oh. Oh. Every single turn that I watch of him, I'm just going like, oh, I can feel that. I understand what he's done. I love it. I want it. It makes me want to go surf. I'm glad that you know exactly what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, like... Oh, just the speed generation, the style, the casual lean on the bottom, and then this. Ah, did you feel the grunt in that turn? Look at this. 
So, come on. It, and then casual, in the pocket, so, knees forward, lift. So one thing that, that, that I do want to ask you, and uh, let's, let's get back a little bit there. The, one thing that I have noticed a lot with him, and so when you've been coaching me and a few of the other people that I've seen you coaching, you're, you quite often say about keeping the arms up to create that, that lightness. The one thing I would say that Ethan Ewing does differently, though, is his arms seem to be, seem to be sort of down a bit when he's sort of, after he's done a manoeuvre and he comes out, his arms drop down. Okay. So is so that... The big difference is his hands, his chest is facing front on, even though his hands are kind of down. It's almost like, a, like a, a spring where you're about to mm. jump. A lot of people are sideways. Okay. Okay, so he's using his legs for explosive jumping. A lot of people are trying to use a twist and to get the fin to displace a little bit of water where Ethan's using his rail and his body. Other people are kind yeah. of just using the fin versus the rail. Yeah. Does that make yeah, yeah, sense? Yeah, yeah. So, man, this guy is next level. I honestly think he gets so underscored in every single heat. I'll why it, why I'll, do you think that is? Because he needs style points. Like, every single turn is just on point. He actually, the way he reads waves, the way he interprets it, it's next level. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you what, actually. Let's, let's, let's try something a little bit new, which I don't think we've done in any of the other coaches' eyes. Let's, let's look at Ethan through the lens of OMBI, so Ocean Mind Body Equipment. Okay. So, so, so let's, let's have a look at it. So through, he's just through, taken off from this wave. Lens, yeah. He's gone, basically, a wave has a power zone there and a power zone there. So what I mean by power zones is water throws down. Whoops, let's clear that. A wave has a power zone there and a power zone there. So what I mean by power zones, water is throwing down over there. It's coming down with gravity. Yep. But it's also drawing up over here. Yep. Okay. So what Ethan's doing is right where the wave wants to suck up, he compresses and then releases his energy. So if you look at that bottom turn there and he releases and goes up, then he tags that. Oh. <laughs> okay. And then to recover, he rides down the wave. So he doesn't lose any speed. Watch this. He, he'll accelerate out of this turn. There. Look at the flow. That, yeah. That's a functional maneuver. Now, most people are trying to rush out into the flats looking for air sections or like a close out air section. Yep. Ethan's surfing off the bottom, off the top, and he's tapping into wave energy. Okay, so, so, so with the ocean, he's really tapping into that, 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 that wave energy, staying in the, in the power zone there, which obviously a lot of the pros do anyway. Um, mind, what, what, what would you say is going on inside his mind? He's calm and relaxed. Calm and relaxed. Most people are just thinking a thousand thoughts going through their head at once. I mean, did you expect that? No. Okay, which means he's surfing so entertaining to watch. It's, it's explosive and it's unexpected. And it's because he's coming off the bottom. You don't know what's happening next. Yeah. But like, um, like a, say a Toledo, he, he might be winding up, winding up. You're like, oh, here it comes, here it comes, air. You did not expect that air from Ethan. No. Which no. was incredible. It's, he kind of, when you're watching, you don't know what you're going to get next. So it's so exciting to watch. Okay, now in terms of body, I think there's a lot that we can take away from, from Ethan. But I'm gonna I'm gonna take a stab and say that you're gonna say his the the way, the way that he uses his hands so his handwork is what we could take away in, from his body. Well, his handwork is phenomenal. Yeah. Like there's never an ugly photo of him. But his footwork is probably even better. So his weight distribution when he's bottom turning, he's on the toe edge. When he's top turning, I mean, okay, let's talk foot distribution, all right? So he comes off the bottom. Look at the feet on the nose off the tail pad, okay? Swings it around and it almost goes kind of straight back into good foot positioning again. So think about how his, his feet are going toe edge, heel edge, forward, stepping back. It's incredible how much he moves around on that board. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Some guys are just stuck on the back foot and they literally cannot move that back foot. Where Ethan's just all over the shop. It's fantastic. Okay, and, and obviously we, we on B, we've got the equipment bit at the end. Can we can we say anything about the equipment, or is that a relevant kind of? Yes. Thing? No. No. Okay. No. 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 So this board loves being on rail. Look at it. So 
a lot of people never, like you could probably, they'll go for a surf, they'll come back, get a tissue, wipe the rail, and the rail's dry. Ethan's wetting rail every single turn. Bottom turn is on rail, top turn is on rail. So he's purely surfing on rail. So he's maximizing his equipment. You, you, probably can't, you can't turn tighter than that. Like the board, it's maxed out. Right. It's like a few, if that was a Ferrari, it's like redlining on every single corner. Yeah. Phenomenal. Yeah. So there it is. There is a breakdown of Ethan Ewing. I think there was a lot of takeaways there. I mean, I think that, to be honest with you, you could probably talk about Ethan Ewing for, for hours, but we want to try and keep these things under the 15-minute mark so they're, like, so they're <laughs> nice and uh, digestible and give you a quick takeaway. But look, we're really interested. What has been your biggest takeaway from listening to the breakdown of Ethan Ewing? Drop that into the comments below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, then make sure that you do. Also hit that notification bell. And if you haven't downloaded the Ombi app yet, then make sure you do. There is heaps of great content on there that can be found in, on Apple and also for Android. So make sure that you download the Ombi app. And we will see you in the next edition of Coach's Eye.